What's going on guys, Crispy Flakes here. For today's What If Rebuild, we are looking at the scenario of LeBron James and Dwayne Wade joining MVP Derrick Rose back in 2010 on the Chicago Bulls. There was talks that this was going to happen. Of course, uh, they ended up going to the Heat. Well, minus Derrick Rose, of course. And yeah, I mean, the rest is just history. So I thought it would be kind of interesting, guys. This is going to be a two-year season, or two-season rebuild. So we have two seasons to bring this team a championship. Also keep in mind that... You know, it is 2K17, so uh, I, I found the best possible roster I could for the 2010 season. So, it's definitely not 100% accurate, but it's close enough for what we're doing with it. So, looking at the team right here, we have Derrick Rose, MVP, Dwayne Wade, and his prime also. And, you know, like not injured or nothing. LeBron James, and somebody on the team might be a bitch ass. Take the boy number 20, well, not number 23. That, of course, went to Michael Jordan. I guess I should say that. But number six. I can't, I don't know who was number six that was, like, really good that that number was, like, retired. Unless, uh, what number you got, She, I can't see your big-ass arms in the way. What, you got number six, don't you? No, he's number 51. Okay, okay. So, yeah, guys, uh, look at the team right here. It's definitely, this is a definitely a championship team if you ask me. But, uh, we do need to make some trades still because what I'm seeing here, you know, Derrick Rose is a ball-dominant point guard who can shoot but not great. Dwayne Wade is a ball-dominant shooting guard who can kind of shoot, but kind of not great. LeBron James is a, is a facilitator who can all stick to the basket. We all know LeBron James, like one of the best basketball players of all time. Well, so is Wade. Um, but, you know, his jump shot, this LeBron James is kind of a different story. I don't know why they got the 20-year-old one on here, but it's all good. Um, his shot on here is actually pretty good, so I'm not too worried about that. Todd Gibson, I mean, you all right. I'm pro yeah, you've been a ball your whole career. I don't mind just like a six man. I don't know if I like his starting. We got Joakim Noah, who I thought was a beast, you know, back in his prime on the Bulls. Loved his game, just loved his passion for the game of basketball and all that stuff. Um, so what I'm seeing here is we probably want to get some more shooters. Like, I definitely want to look to get into getting a uh, stretch four that would kind of open up the uh, floor a little bit more. Noah, I think it's fine. Although I think he would, I think he should be rated a little bit higher. I guess maybe not in 2010. Um, here we go. Let's get straight to this trade finder and you know, actually what we got for player contracts. Um, so oh shit. Oh, no, he's not two-year. Well, he got a player option. He might. You better come back. All three of y'all. You all three better come back. Don't even think about leaving my team. Please. Please don't. Um, no one's gonna... He got a big contract. He'll stay. Um, a Sheik. Gotta get rid of that. Besides for that, it's a lot of, like, one-year deals. So, nothing too bad there. We also have Kyle Corbett, who will be nice off the bench, too. Um, here we go. Trade finder. Taj. Yeah, probably keep it as a six-man. Can you shoot? Oh, he got 80, He got 84 midi. Three-point game of 27. That's real ass, but that's fine. Uh, Ashik, you probably got to go. You definitely got to go, actually. Not probably. You yeah, for sure do. And, uh, yo, what do we have for power forwards? We're probably going to get a lot. I mean, like, Omar Ashik's not exactly uh, the best trade value. Boris Diaw wouldn't be too bad of a fit. I lied. Well, no, that's something that's not bad. Can't really shoot the uh, midi, though, which kind of sucks. I need a guy that could do it all. How about Anthony Bennett, man? Back in 2010, he was just a little baby. All right, all right. So not real any cool offers that I'm seeing out here so far. Harkless, nope. Okay, nothing really good there. Let me do you with Gibson. And also, also, oh, unprotected. And can I do another one? Unprotected. Oh, okay, I, only, I can only do one draft pick for some reason. I thought you could do, like, multiple last year on uh, 2K16. Here we go. Oh, 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 here we go. All right. That is young, man. You would be a good uh, athlete. God damn. You bitch ass used to be able to shoot. I know you're like, uh, God, a 60? You better shooter than that, Thaddeus. Come on, man. That's me. Oh, psh. Run the Plumleys. Don't want you. Yo, DeAndre Jordan. Oh, I, I, I was like, yo, DeAndre Jordan for this is actually a really good deal. Uh, but this is back when he was younger, so only a 77 overall at this point. Damn, uh. Yo, Jamal Crawford, Josh Smith. You bitch ass only guys. You bitch ass got zero dollar to salary. That's because you're still getting money from my Detroit Pistons. And greedy ass. Um, damn, not really. Terrence Jones, David West. David West would be all right, but at that point, I might as well just keep Todd Gibson. Ed Davis, Amir Johnson, Matt Boner, uh, Channing Fry. Yo, not really nothing I'm really liking here, guys. So I think I might just stick with the team we got for this first season. And if we don't win the championship, I mean, you know, we can have money, some money to sign a guy um, maybe later on. She, I still got to trade him. He's still got to go. Um, even for an expiring deal. Like, that dude, I'm not paying that dude that much money to be a scrub on my team. I mean, you was a 75. I guess you have 75 overall. That's not the worst. The boy got $0 salary also. What's up with this? 
I'm going to take Anderson Verajao. Um, real talk, like, that might not be a bad pickup. Boros Diaz, still like that pickup for a one-year deal. That's not bad. I'm going to go with that. Unless something really jumps out at Crispy right here. But I don't think nothing will. I just talked in the third person. Uh, Boris Diaz. Yeah, we got to go with draft pick. That's fine, that's fine. I'll, I'll take Boris. He'll be a good, uh, good fit on this team. No doubt. All right, we got shooting guards. Uh, you can always play small forward. Um, okay, so we uh, kind of need a backup center now because I just traded mine away. It's all good. It's all good. Yo, what we got for free agents? Ah, uh, free agents. Here we go. Oh, shit, man. God damn. Whoever made this roster go oh, screw this video up. I, I think if I turn off trades, I think I'll be fine. I don't think any of these guys will be able to get signed. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> damn, I got some free agents for sure. Okay, this video just got interesting. Okay, guys, this video has just switched to, uh, I guess, can they play today? Damn. Okay, I just made, I just win that free agent pool. This shit was fucking lit as hell, man. God damn. Okay, okay. I think I'm fine. I think I'm good. Did I, did I, did I trade Omar? Omir? Yes, I did. Okay. Yo, Felicio, you're going to be playing center then, man. I don't know. All right, let me do these uh, minutes here real quick. See what the team's like. God damn that free. I want to get, like, low-key. I was about to pick up Kawhi Leonard, man. <laughs> get him on the little low-low. He's sitting on the bench. He ain't doing much. Because the minutes actually spread out pretty good. So I'm good with LeBron at 40. And then uh, Rose. Yo, do not roast this boy Rose for his knees either. I know you all doing it already. This is before he was injured. You cannot roast. This is in before the future, man. Okay? He ain't going to get hurt for me. I hope. All right, guys. I'm going to simulate this first season. See how this team does. And hopefully, man, all these free agents don't get signed. But they probably will because Ryan 2K likes to screw me over. All right, guys. So with this Chicago Bulls team, we got a record of 63-18 and 18 with one more game left this season against the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, first in the conference, first in the division, of course. So simulate through date. Last game of the season, we get the W and LeBron James, MVP for the Chicago Bulls team, wearing that number 11. I don't like your number 11, bro, but, you know, it's the number that was there. Um, 30 points per game, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, 3 steals, 2 blocks. The dude shot 44% from 3. Like, that's absolutely... Um and then your boy Brandon Ingram for some reason. The boy, goddamn, in his diaper, winning rookie of the season, or rookie of the year. Your boy don't even exist yet! He was a child back in 2010. Um, Stephen Curry, 6... Okay, 2K. <laughs> boy, boys, I, I guess back in 2010, you was like a rookie. Um, Timmy Duncan, Defense Player of the Year. Oh, damn. 24 points, 20 rebounds a game. Timmy D. Damn. Steven Adams, most proved. I don't think he exists yet either. Uh, but it's all good. Like I said, it's not the most perfect. Eric Bledsoe? All NBA first team? In 2010, the boy Steve Nash was around. The boy Chris Paul was around. Russell Westbrook, you was just a baby also. There's Steve Nash. Well, what I, I said Steve. They now look like Steve Nash. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Jimmy Buckets on the Kings for some reason. Okay, this roster kind of pissing me. Really, the boy Kobe All NBA third team? All NBA third team for Kobe Bryant? Uh, this, I got to find the dude that made this roster. It's starting to piss me off. I'm starting to get a little pissy. But it's all good. We still get the general idea of the video here. Let's look at the player stats. I kind of want to see how uh, D. Rose and D. Wade also fared. So D. Rose, 17 points a game, uh, 6.5 rebounds, 5.6 assists. So not really not really MVP numbers, but I guess, you know, when you got LeBron James on your team, your scoring's going to go down. Uh, D. Wade, only about 15 points a game. So, yeah, I mean, the team still played really good. Todd Gibson stepped up. Kyle Corver about 11 a game. So we played that uh, shooting guard position very nicely, you know, backup dude. And I guess once I do think about it, you know, back in 2010, because um, Dwayne Wade won the championship, I believe, 2008, was it? Maybe 2006? Maybe 2007? Sometime. <laughs> and at this point, I guess he was a bit older. Not like he wasn't old by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but he was older and still coming off injury. So I guess it does make sense. He wasn't exactly in, like, the prime of his prime. Just kind of, like, declined at that point. Here we go. We have the New York Knicks. Who's on this Knicks team? Probably a whole bunch of players that don't exist. Simulate uh, playoffs. No, simulate current rounds. We better win every damn game. All right, so we sweep the Knicks. Kind of got to see who's on this team now. Uh, they had uh, Chandler. Oh, that's right. Wilson Chandler. I don't think. Oh, god damn. The bitch out here signed free agents. 
Get the dudes that don't exist here. The boy drafted that in 2012. The boys all balling at Michigan State. Y'all sign them. They got Clay Thompson's ass. <laughs> this shit's rigged. This, this shit's rigged. <laughs> all right, we got my Detroit Pistons uh, second round simulate. Simulate uh, current round. God damn, 2K. Oh, my God. The fucking Pistons. That's my team, but I know they were ass back in 2010. Yeah, oh, this was a bitch ass team. I remember I was a fan of it. There was uh oh my god. Rip the the, the boy T Mac at this point. They got 85 overall T Mac on here. At this point, this boy's on 65 overall. I remember you I called you Tracy Big Mac, not T Mac. Because you was a fat ass, I remember. But I loved you on the team. Bitch ass Greg Monroe, he was a rookie. Nothing but a stab pan bitch. Brandon Knight must have saying he's more. DeAndre Jordan, Kyrie Irving, yeah. Yeah, when I say those, when I associate those words with your name, Brandon, people think of you getting dunked on by DeAndre Jordan and crossed over by Kyrie Irving. Miss Leia, better throw that one in there too. Oh my god, this is, now, now I just got bad memories. This shit's just pissing me off now. Now I just got bad memories of Charlie V stealing so much money. Stucky, you suck too. Sucky, sucky, sucky. Oh my god. And Rip Hamilton, bitch ass, was complaining because Allen Iverson wanted to play shooting guard too. I love you, Rip. But you was kind of a bitch ass when Iverson came on this team. You did not treat him like family. I would get kicked out of the game here. LeBron James, good game. D Rose, 5 for 16, eh. D Wade, eh. I don't know, man. I'm not going to do a second season because there's too many free agents, too many rich shit out of here, man. Who won the championship, though? Simply. Might as well just be something that don't exist. The Dallas Mavericks. Okay, I'm kind of okay with that. I'm kind of okay with that. Yo, I forgot Shaq played. I forgot Shaq played out here. Yo, what's that Maverick team looking like? All right. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Now I'm doing another season because there's too much rig stuff going on here. Uh, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think about the potential of that super squad going to the Chicago Bulls. Well, what do you think it would have been like? Thank you all so much for watching. And peace out, my friends.